Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Salesman or something. Those suitcases could just contain the products he sells. 47. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into.
The new foreman looks good. <laughs> A little privacy, please. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Lots of smoke goes up. Whatever happens after that isn't your concern. Okay, good. I wonder what does happen after the smoke goes up. Not your concern. Okay. What the hell was that? Go find out, huh? Photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Wazir Kale, the Maelstrom, 
Identification confirmed. Kushmilaka, did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drop... It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. On all the others, I guess. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market.
It's you. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Shirt for the office? We got How much of these? Ah, you're back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running with Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Great. Thank you. Come again. Hey, surprise your wife. For Miss Shah? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not do it. See what you have in your pockets today. Now, let's see if you've brought me something interesting today. Hey there. Okay, you're good to go. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it. I know. Here we are. What Just a go there. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. Well, the whole city suffers under the water shortage. Your husband is dead, is he not? Yes, he is. Two years now. And your children are already working elsewhere in the city. Yes, but you have nothing to offer me then, Mrs. Banerjee. I'm sorry, but water and power are precious assets here. I barely have enough for my own needs. You will have to make do with what you have. I understand. Thank you, my queen. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. Leave us. 
I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably... How some of them ended up... Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. dress itself. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. You left something behind.
Excuse me. Care for a snack? Not gonna buy it. I'll have some for Much appreciated. Don't mention it. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Have a nice day. Yeah, I got some. 
weird noises here. I'll go see what's up. Last year. Hmm? Boy, he had a rough time. His dad was a real mean drunk. Oh, yeah, then. When I was a kid, I always Great. wanted to be a dentist. Because my dad said they made easy money. Later, I actually robbed a few dentists. Hmm? Oh, Hold on. I think I just heard something. day.
to go. I know they're still trying to find the right line for the shoot, but in case they do, we need to be ready with the deck. You bet. I had to hack the controls to reduce the power output of the machine. I don't know where I'm going. Forty-seven. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. Next one on stage. Please. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Brangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on. He uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm. The Mumbai food district. He's likely still there for you. Seven. Hey, my good man. Interesting look, 47. 
Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. All right, everyone, take five. I need... I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> do you say so, Mr. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor the man. That's what we're looking for right there. Great work. Well, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. And right, when I pull up this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius. radius will faint automatically. Beautiful, Mr. Rangan. All right. I hey, think that's enough okay. beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap then. Champagne.
अरे मैं कह रहा हूँ ग्रेट थिंग्स विल कम फ्रॉम दिस मूवी गाइस लेट मी टेल यू आई हैव गोट अ फीलिंग दैट दिस वन इज द वन दैट विल मेक मी फेमस यू नो इट जस्ट गोस टू शो दैट हार्ड वर्क एंड डेडिकेशन इज व्हाट इज नीडेड इन दिस बिजनेस यार यू नो आई गोट द शैंपेन फ्रॉम अ मूवी बिजनेस कांटेक्ट यू नो ही वाज सो इंप्रेस्ड विद द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द फिल्म ही जस्ट इंसिस्टेड ऑन मिस्टर रैंगन यू वांटेड टू सी मी आ ग्रेगरी यस यस Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Gregory, Gregory, as you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Soon, all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to back you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. But. I got to search you sir if you want to come through this way. Feels good, huh? But it does pretty boy. Okay, you're all fine. Off you go. Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place? This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember, they ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us, we failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. 
I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember.